guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video. Today I have with me Pulip Yona. So Pulip Yona was the last doll that I was missing in the Multivix series. So I'm pretty happy to have her. I got her second hand uh, from the second hand section, section of the um, uh, Amiami retail store in the Hakihabara Radio Kaikan quarter. So basically they have two areas. You have the area where they have the like brand new product and you can find dolls there and they have another little area at the back where you can have like second hand product and she was there and I was so happy to find her so I absolutely had to get her because um, she was on my wish list kind of for a while and I wasn't getting her when I saw her every time and after a while she actually didn't show up anymore so when I actually saw her second hand for so cheap I was kind of happy and the thing is she's second hand but she's absolutely mint in box so she has never been opened she still has a seal on it so they could have uh, sold her as a brand new doll but they didn't so I'm kind of happy about that thank you guys at the Amiami store uh, really good <laughs> so anyway so this one um, She's part of this very very colorful series. I have the Isil and the Dal. I'll take the picture of the three of them together. So we're going to see that later. Uh, she's um, not a very older doll, but she's not one of the brand new dolls that are coming out uh, recently. So quite a few years back actually. But anyway, she's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open her for you and show how to do from close up. So guys, this is Yona. So you can see it's a Multinix series and you can see she's very very colorful. So let's open the box. Uh, I got my scissors because pulips are a little bit troublesome to open. So cut the seal first. I'm so happy that she was like never opened before. I just hope, see you have the plastic here on the forehead. I just hope it's not going to stick because if it sticks it means she's going to have a shiny forehead anyway so um, pulling out from the box or pulling the box away from her and she comes with quite a bit of things actually so here she has a sort of scarf a card doll stand and on the other side she has her shoes here and this is, I'm not really sure what that is. And she has, like, it's something with a butterfly. Maybe a necklace or something. And she has a little doll too. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out, starting with the thing on the side. And then I'll take care of the doll. So, first I'm going to take care of this little doll here. The thing is, Pulip actually has a lot of tape on the box, so... And actually, they also have a string, which I need to cut, because there is a knot, and so it wouldn't go if I just pull on it. So here we go, so she has this little, cute little doll, as a friend. Quite precious actually, she has like her face made with little buttons. She's, it's a very pretty doll. Then we have this thingy here, which I'm not sure what it is. So let's see. It has a butterfly, it has a string. So it's, a, it's made of yarn, so probably this is a necklace of some sort. I'm gonna use it as a necklace anyway. It's also kind of pretty. She has little green shoes. Uh, and the funny thing is those shoes are kind of like the wooden shoes that my great grandpa would use. <laughs> Except these are probably made of plastic, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, so my great grandpa has uh, those shoes before uh, made of wood. He probably made them by himself, actually. So here you go. Those are decorated, um, higher level version. Probably was they were uh, sometime in the Netherlands or 
Yeah, probably there. Or in my region in Brittany, actually. Then the card. So, Polybiona here. And you can see the card. And then we have a scarf. It's a very colorful pinkish scarf with flower on it. Yeah, and it's fluffy too. Whoa, look at that. So I don't know how she's supposed to wear it because there is this fluffy part here. I think it's like you knot it around her neck according to the card, see? You can see the fluff here. So probably make a knot around her neck. I'll try that before I zoom on her so you'll see what I did with that. And then we have the doll stand. And I'm just gonna cut through the plastic band around because I don't want to bother with the tape. It's a pretty shiny neon green and it has a little um, golden shine on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, if it's reflected with a light or anything. Uh, not really like showing of doll stand normally, but this one is particular because they have like I don't know, that's the first doll stand on a pulley that I see that has this like color. They either have their own particular color or they come like as a standard black or white. But this one is pretty cool. See the glitters? Mm, I hope you can see the glitters. Anyway. Trust me, if you don't see them, they, there is golden glitters on the stand. Anyway, so you put it like that. <laughs> That's how it works. And be careful when you remove it because the, the little parts that keep it sticking tend to break very easily. I know because I broke so many of them. You can still use them when they're broken, but still, they would fall apart more easily. And then we have to take care of all that. And you see she only has one wire, which is pretty cool. Hey, thank you, Groove. That's good packaging. No super extra stupid wire is always a good thing. So, I'm just so lazy. I don't want to take care of the tape. So, I'm just cutting through everything today. Um, she's not going back to her box. If you were wondering, so it doesn't matter. I have to take the tape away here anyway. So I'm going to remove all of this plastic thing here. See, just pull them through. That way they won't like get in the way when I want the door to come out. This one needs to be a little bit taken care of a little bit more carefully because it's the one on her forehead and I don't trust the plastic. Ah, no shine guys, perfect plastic rendition, yahoo, no leak, no melting. I guess she was stored properly. I think it's maybe when the plastic melts on the forehead that the shine comes. I have one doll like that. It's a bit annoying, one poor easel is like that. It's got a cap, so it's okay, you don't see it. Anyway, so now the wire, which is always a tricky part. And it's coated wire, so that it's not going to destroy my fingers. Woo! That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so now I just have to pull the wire through. And make sure I don't scratch her face. Here we go, wire through, let me put it at the back, okay, here we go, your day is free, yeah, freedom day, so, uh, you can see she's fabulous, basically already, if you haven't noticed, uh, she's got this really cool design, so many colors, so many texture, 
Uh, it sort of say a little story. You got the little red hood here. Um, she has like this super cool different color um, elastic to all her hair. So nice hairstyle as well, like very different from the doll I have. So yeah, uh, this is Yona guys. I'm going to put on her shoes and her scarf and everything. And then I'm going to zoom on her and show her to you from close up. So guys, here is Pulip Yona. Isn't she very, very beautiful? So she has a very simple style, uh, at least on her face. And I think that is striking because she is so colorful uh, for the rest. So let's start as usual at the top and have a look at what she's actually looking like. So she comes with a brown, um, kind of light brown, a little bit orange, maybe she's a redhead uh, in disguise, uh, wig. So she has wavy long hair and they look a little bit of a frill, um, a little bit broken on the side. Uh, the hair is attached in this particular hairstyle, so she has elastic in yellow, green, also here yellow, green, and yellow again up there, and she also has something attached here. So it's not a braid, basically, it's just uh, hair put together, and then more hair put together, and it's uh, just attached on the side of her face. So she has a kind of very interesting hairstyle, I think, because not so many doll have that hairstyle. I actually have no doll with that hairstyle, so uh, that's the only pulley with that hairstyle. Anyway, so then she has those uh, large, very high placed eyebrows, and they actually are the same color as her hair, and it's made of little lines. But the thing is, uh, you have like tiny, tiny little lines going up, and then you have those. A little bit darker more striking lines um, on top of it so it's kind of a little bit bushy I don't know let me zoom a little bit you're gonna see that better so I don't know if you see all the little lines but her eyebrows are basically made of lots of little lines then she has those sort of very dark eyes uh, I think they are sort of black with only those little lines in blue all around the um, center circle, basically. And you have little touch of white and blue in there. So just those little lines for this bleep. So it's, ki it's kind of what I call the cartoonish eyes. And at the same time, it's kind of dark and the little lines are... I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, guys. It's kind of a cartoonish style, but not exactly. Because so many little lines, I don't know. Anyway, she has a little blush at the corner of her eyes here. And a line in dark brown. Well, actually, two lines. But one is darker and the one at the top is a little bit lighter. And then she has brown eyelashes and brown eyeshadow. So you have this mascara line in brown and brown around here and a little bit of blush in between as well. And she has normal little lips. A sort of light pink orange color. So very natural looking. And then, then comes the fun part that is going to be crazy to describe because, well, as you can see, she is extremely colorful, but it's not the only point. The, o the other point is that she is also uh, wearing so many different types of fabric with different textures. So we're going to start at the back. So we have this sort of sh shawl here. So we, it's like... Got that green fabric with uh, less at the bottom uh, around the square, and then it has yes, it's not a triangle actually, it's a square. You see two flaps. It has a ribbon, blue ribbon with golden edge and um, purple and green, orange ribbon with some sort of shiny uh, golden, blue green little. Um, embroidery on it 
and then you have this fabric which is actually very soft it's kind of a sort of a knitted fabric and it has a lot of different flower pattern on it okay so that's for the for the first part then she has this um, scarf that I talked about earlier you can see the fluffy part is right here on the side that's where I put it and it has this uh, nice uh, it's it's kind of a sort of t-shirt type of fabric and it has flower on it uh, then you have this uh, string here which is a sort of yarn that you could use for knitting basically it's put in double and it attached to this little wooden uh, butterfly which is actually the feel of it in my hands I think it's made of wood which is pretty nice then she has this uh, jacket so the jacket is made of green fabric and it has pockets so you have one pocket here in yellow with a different type of ribbon at the top and you have ribbon at the bottom you have a fabric at the edge which is folded around the edge basically then you have the fluffy thing that you can have the same as a, sh as a scarf at the bottom and here she has a little applique with little red hood and then we have what another ribbon the pink fabric is also here and it's a sleeveless jacket okay so far so good we're gonna make it guys and it has two little wooden buttons which I'm going to undo if that's possible to show you the dress underneath let's see okay one done so the buttons are actually usable alright so underneath that does she has the dress or no she has a shirt and a skirt so she has a black a red sorry guys too many colors I get confused she has a red shirt uh, with this blue ribbon at the bottom and another part of the blue ribbon here at the color and then the ribbon at the front with little embroidered flowers I think that's it. The, the sewing of this shirt is actually very strange. Um, it looks like it was sewn upside down. You see you have this part here that is normally made as a pinch to make the, the, the fabric closer to the body, like a bodice type of thing. And it's actually on the outside which I don't actually know why and it's only happen, happen on one side uh, which I actually don't know why it's a very weird way of sewing thing and it's closed at the front with a velcro which doesn't go all the way down and you can see the, the fabric at the top here and at the bottom is just one piece of fabric that is put on top uh, at, at, the, at the edge of the shirt, it's it's a very strange uh, looking shirt and then underneath she has this uh, skirt which is made of several fabrics so you have this uh, sort of um, it's, it's nice and soft and it's white with little flowers it's, uh, the dress is actually sewn at different places so you have like something that attach this point to this point here same on the other side so that it's it's there in own shape and you have three different type of um, ribbon so are they completely completely different? no, the one at the bottom is the same as the one on the shirt but the other two are new so two new different pattern style then she has another type of fabric which is kind of lighter and a little bit transparent here it's uh, still flowers but this time it's kind of darker color dark blue then underneath that there is this less piece uh, at the bottom and underneath that you have another red 
part. So lots of little flowers, but this time on a red fabric instead. So basically that's it for the outfit, like the dress, well, the skirt and shirt and stuff. And she comes with socks which are made of the same fabric as this shawl. So blue and yellow and uh, purple and dark blue, or is it black? No, I think it's dark blue. And a sort of creamish white. And then she comes with those little shoes, so red shoes with this uh, fabric little flower on top so basically that's what uh, Yona is like so quite a bit of color very very colorful little girl here I think she's really pretty and I think the, the style totally suits her um, I think she's, she's really awesome she has a lot of character basically lots of personality so I'm gonna take picture of her uh, later. Oh, actually guys, I almost forgot to show you her little doll. So you have a little doll here who is kind of in the same style. She has a, the same ribbon here, but different type of fabric and a different ribbon at the bottom. And she has this, uh, she's a white maid, so that's like one piece doll. She has this um, scarf and something on her hair and she has those braids so kind of the same sort of hairstyle and a little ribbon here she has like freckles which is pretty cute a little mouth and buttons for eyes so and she has this uh, glued little plastic flower here on the front so basically that's the little doll uh, Yuna comes with so I think that's pretty adorable so guys, tell me what you think about Yona. Do you like this type of doll with a lot of different color or do you prefer something a little bit more sober uh, on the coloring scheme? Uh, I think she has a lot of personality and I think she's a really pretty doll. Uh, she can actually adopt a lot of different style uh, because her face up is not as colorful as her outfit. So if you put something a little bit like a dark dress would probably suit her really well as well so I think that uh, she can be very versatile if you want to go that route but I kind of like mine uh, being as colorful as she is I think that's a pretty cool design so let me know what you think in the comment section below um, do you have her do you have any other doll of the series or do you want her uh, are you looking for her uh, I think she's also kind of close to Imari in the, in a way because Imari also has um, a kind of lot of color, flowery style, and also like this um, sort of reddish hair. Uh, so I think I think maybe they kind of can be very good friend. Anyway, uh, she's going to go on the shelf with Imari and the other of the Multivix series. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumb up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And click the notification button. And see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!